Okay, so today I'm going to be reading Big and Eight, Hug It Out, Part 3. So let's get started. Ch chapter 1. Pir Private uh, Charles uh, Chuck Manley's uh, chest swelled up with pride as he uh, pulled on his uh, blue woolen uh, uniform after washing his face in the slow-moving waters of Bull Run Creek. Creek. I can't believe I'm actually a member of the Union Army and that we are about to battle against the, the gray clad soldiers of the Confederacy. He thought uh, to himself uh, while, while uh, enjoying a hearty breakfast, a, gu a gun warrior old roared in the distance, and suddenly a cannon a ball flew by, knocking his donut from his hand, and landed on the gro ground on the gl and the got um, covered on with dirt and mud, making it all gross and stuff. It was going to be a long war. What is this? My silver war paper, obviously. The only thing obvious is uh, that so you're making stuff up. It's called her story co fiction, Francis. I'm building a dramatic uh, story on top of uh, the rock solid foundation of factualness. Uh, there were no flying monkeys at uh, Shiloh, you pinhead. The metaphor. metaphor. That you can't uh, write about flying um, monkeys after the Battle of Shiloh. I told you, fr Francis, I'm using them as a metaphor. I'm a metaphor for a war itself. So a war is like a flying monkey. Yeah, right, and pizza is like a mint and chocolate chip ice cream. Hence uh, the scene in the Ben Jerry's factory, bingo. Pirate, uh, private uh, Charles uh, Chuck uh, Manley could understand what uh, happened, what was happening at that fateful day at Gettysburg. And again and again, he had fired his uh, rifle, but he kept uh, missing his target. Then, inside his head, he heard uh, the voice of General. Also, is a S. Grant. Trust the force, Chuck. It told him. Trust the force. Chuck got closed his eyes and squeezed the, the trigger. When he opened his eyes, he found that, that he, had, he had shot one of his own men by mistake. Luckily, it was only the flesh wound. Anyways, about five minutes later, the rebels retreated. Chuck then smiled. The, Mild and lonely. Yes, the force was indeed stronger in the Get in the Gettysburg that day. Here's my paper, Mrs. Goffrey. What? Why does it say a Civil War factation? Not my own word. Fiction of fact and factation. It's an un. It's an unconvert convent. National approach, but if you read it with an open mind, what? If you will be blown away. It was a dark, stormy night that uh, morning as the uh, Confederate guns exploded the tropical island of uh, the for of Fort Sumter, Louisiana. F. Mr. Gavin, are we really gonna have? Are you really having a quiz today? Yes, indeed. You're known. You've known about it for over a week. Well, we didn't finish uh, the the in a uh, class review. Yeah, you should have uh, finished the review on your own. Plus, you never explained the part two of chapter twelve because of that fire drill. Remember, everything you needed to know. Is about the chapter twelve and is is in the textbook, but the textbook is so confusing. Not if you read it carefully. Sit it down, boys. He's going through the quid with the quids. We're dead. Leave this to me, boys. Mister Gavin, 
Will you tell us about the time you shared a cab with the Florence Henderson? It was a windswept day on the sidewalks of Manhattan. You're a genius. So true. Uh, 10 uh, 12 a.m. 10 to 13 a.m. So whip, wham! 10 14 a.m. Sir, Nate Wright is here to inform you a pending lawsuit. Principal Nicholas, I'm suing the school for providing an unsafe environment, unsafe in one way, what way? I slipped in the puddle in the, the hallway in the hallway near the computer lab. I could have been killed, but you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. You're new to this lawsuit thing, aren't you, son? Huh? Oh, I mean, ow, ow, my back. Nate, I'm sorry you slipped on the wet floor, but that hardly entitles you a suit to school, especially since you don't seem to be injured, not physical, physically. But what's up about my emotional trauma? Emotional trauma from a puddle? No, no. From a Mrs. Godfrey, I swear to issues. I don't want to. I want you to sue the school. And I uh, don't want me to. Maybe we can uh, compromise. If uh, you if you were to um, give me a settlement to to you wouldn't uh, have to go through a messy trial. Uh huh. What uh, have you have in mind? A modest cash payment of a twenty-five thousand dollars. How about uh, you just leave my office before I throw your butt in detention? That works uh, too. How did it go? How did it go with the principal? He made me drop my lawsuit. And not fair. It's the school's fault that I slipped and fell. I should have been uh, paid for my pain and suffering. It would have, wouldn't have been a big payment. It wouldn't even have to be money. It can just uh, be just. Uh, it could be uh, just a small uh, token, you know. I ha I have half a row of mentals in my purse. Deal. Toward the site of new strategy, one dollar, and almost here, almost a, uh, right here, almost invisible to the naked eye, it was a puddle. My foot hit it, and down I went. Oh hi! I wonder if a private private school principals have these problems. My uh, head uh, hit the floor, and everything went dark. Dad, what are you doing? Line it up by tea shot. So I'm aiming at the snack bar. I know. I'm a, I'm a compu, I'm compuzzling. I hit a natural draw, so I aim away right. Watch this curve one to the uh oh, clonk dud. Grandma, are you okay, Grandma? What happened? I don't know. She just went down. I think something hit her. You're right. Look at that lump on her forehead. Here's what did it. A golf ball. Grandma, how many fingers am I holding up? I think I ca I'll call it a day. A good idea. It's coming. What is the bus? No, something bad. I can feel it. What's a kind of bad? What do you mean? It's getting closer, closer. What is it? What is What is? What is yeah, I just found the, the new education of fantastic facts. Here's an interesting fact about uh, Calvin Coolidge. Francis, stop! We don't even, we don't need uh, to uh, hear any, uh, any of your useless trivia. The only good uh, trivia is trivia about uh, the short track, the next uh, generation. What? What makes Counselor Denia troll? Troll. Good at trivia and uh, Calvin Coolidge bad at trivia. C 
Calvin at Coolidge, then had to do his dog, dog job in a skin tight un unitard. Coolidge one, Coolidge zero. It's a ridiculous that he only paid attention to Star Trek. The next generation, generation trivia. That's the way I am, Francis. But there's so much uh, good trivia out there. Let me share it with you. No, I'm not listening. Just uh, let me tell you one thing. One fact, toys. No, cut it out. Calvin Coolidge is the only president born on the 4th of July. Help. <laughs> Former presidents uh, Thomas uh, Jefferson and uh, uh, John uh, Adams both died on uh, July 4th, 1826. But there's, uh, only, but there's been only one president born on the 4th of July. Who was he, Nate? He won't get this. He won't believe in this. <laughs> well, Nate, who, who's uh, the only president born on the 4th of July? I will believe that will be Calvin Coolidge. Why? Yeah, yes, yes, that's right. Calvin Coolidge is right. Nicely done, Nate. That's extra credit for you. You're welcome. I've always been a tr bit of trivia, a of a trivia buff. Now, uh, do you admit a little trivia? Can can come in handy sometime. Thanks to my Calvin Coolidge trivia, you just got my, you just got extra credit from Mrs. Goldfrey. Okay, okay, you're right. But to, that doesn't mean I want you burying me with piles of useless fact about facts about a Calvin Coolidge. Why? By the way, had a, by the way, had a pat. Pet a raccoon named Rebecca who and it was used to water around the White House. Not only that, stop, stop, stop. I'm going to cure your cat uh, phobia, phobia once and for all. What? Wait, I don't want uh, you throwing some cat at me. Not a real cat, pinhead. pinhead. You've got to work your way up into real cats. We'll start with... A puppet. What are you talking about? I'm just I'm talking about practicing. We're going to use a puppet to practice. That's all. Cut it out, Francis. Meow. Relax. I'm trying to help you. Meow. Stop. Stop. Meow. Meow. You're freaking me out. This is the neighborhood uh, is uh, very get, very, getting very strange. I miss the days when kids stay inside and played video games. So this is the end of part three. I hope you enjoy my video. Bye!